Barton, under the management of Needwood in East Staffordshire, may have a population of just over 4,000 but has six thriving pubs that are often packed with customers. They're also a stone's throw from each other, the three of them on the same road in the village, just over six miles from Burton, Bars Inn or Shoulder, Red Lion and Three Horse Hose Main Street, The Barton Turns Turn, Middle Bell Main Street and Royal Oak the Green. If you live in Barton and want to go for a bar crawl then just walk out your front door. With 32 bars a month closing in the UK in 2022, Barton is firmly against this trend. And what keeps alive at Barton is that they are family-oriented, dog-friendly, and most of them eat out, placing at the heart of village life. While working we unfortunately decided to pop into Barton Pub with soft drinks and met wild. Spending some quality time with the friendly bar staff and whole family. We received a warm welcome at each and were served promptly. It's the perfect village for dog owners because all the bars are dog friendly. Although they don't have restaurant sections. The cheapest beer all bars was Carlin. Brewed just down road in Burton and cost around £4 all bars. The first pub we visited was the Barton Turns Inn on Barton Turn. Which was pretty busy with families. Friends and regulars enjoying their evenings. Sheila Woodcock. The bar's landlady who was very welcoming and chatty. Served us, it just has to be the landlady. Sheila says. I've been a landlady here for 11 years and I love it here. We have a secure beer garden with seating and a sitting area across the road with beautiful water. Views. Two barbecues are available for people to use as long as they shop with us. Barton Turns In features traditional wooden elements, including a bar. The open fire gives the space a homely, peaceful feel, especially on cold nights. There was no music playing during our visit, but it was nice to hear people chatting. This pub is perfect for all generations. Whether you are an individual or a family looking for a quiet drink, Next up was the Mud and Shoulder on Main Street, sitting proudly on the corner of Palmer Close. We were greeted by a lovely young bartender with whom we had great conversation as he is very friendly and lovely and knows a lot about the different bars in Barton. His name was Tom Robinson, and he said, This is a really homely pub. Great for families. We welcome everyone, whether they're regulars or new to Shoulder. Most people come here for the food rather than the drinks. Usually 10 p.m. It's great for me because I don't have to work behind bar until the wee hours of morning. I enjoy working here. It's really nice. We are dog friendly and have a beer garden which can be really popular during the summer months. Some punters who overheard our conversation with Tom said, the food here is very good and the prices are very reasonable. The interior of Shoulder Mutton felt like country bar it features a chunky wood bar decor, blackboards for signage, and plaid rug in the restaurant area, as well ochre red colors. Food on offer offers opportunities for pies or lasagna as well as backgammon, burgers, pizza and sausages. Shoulder Mutton also offers gelato which is perfect for kids and during the hot summer months. The third pub we visited was the Red Lion in Main Street, run by a New Orleans pub for 10 years. Working as a jazz musician who organized popular Mardi Gras celebrations at two pubs he and his wife owned. Mike Owen manages Red Lion under Needwood at Barton and Marchington's Bull's Head with his wife, Tony. Red Lion also has a pool table that customers can use for free on Tuesdays. Barmaid Lauren Wall was polite, informative and friendly and keen to offer us free bar snacks as the pub provides tortilla chips with gravy on Fridays. Red Lion is a cute bar. Perfect for families because the owners have little girls so they are passionate about inviting kids as well as adults. For bands those who enjoy bar sports where the entertainment our customers love so much come in perform there is also a billiard set a dart set. We're dog friendly and we have beer garden and we even have a machine where they win prizes with. 
ball that the kids love, but I don't know what it's called. Most of our regulars like sports. So sometimes we put on football games and stuff like that. There are lots of places at the Red Lion that are great for people who like to find a table and sit and chat. The interior has a cozy multi-fuel burner and features brick, stained glass and stunning mahogany wood, including the bar. Royal Oak on the Green is a great pub for families, friends or even people who want a drink. Although this pub does not sell food, it does host pop-up food stalls where local businesses can open their restaurant at the bar for the day. Royal Oak has a relaxed and homely feel with a very inviting atmosphere. Kate Steve Bolter have been hostesses and hosts for the past 17 years say they are well supported by the villagers. We sell a selection of award-winning draft beers, as well as other soft, hotter spirits. The open fire is lit at 11.30 a.m., ready to visit customers when we open at 12 p.m. A lot of cyclists come here while they're riding their bikes and they appreciate that we're open. Because so many bars have closed, or we've changed opening times later in the day due to the rising cost of living. We're dog-friendly and welcome everyone and everyone to drop by. During the pandemic, where the locals love us, we delivered beers around Barton. Royal Oak is 255 years old and we are probably the only bar in Staffordshire that still has a walk-in bar. We felt at home when we entered this bar. We recommend it to anyone looking for a relaxing drink, there's also ample parking and an outdoor smoking shelter. Behind the Royal Oak is a beer garden that would be perfect for bookies, cyclists, families or dog walkers during the summer months. Our next destination was the Middle Bell on Main Street, which is more like bar you might find in a city than small village. It had a modern, rustic interior and was decorated with fairy lights. Visually very attractive pub inside. Middle Bell was definitely the busiest bar during my visit. As soon as you walk through the door, the bar is packed with punters making chattering noises from every angle, perfect for people who love to drink and chat. People seem to visit this bar in groups on social outings instead of having a pint after work. Most of the people drinking here were in their 30s and 60s. The bartender here, although very full, was nice to talk to and serve this very quickly. Middle Bell offers live music on Saturdays and 25% off burgers on Tuesdays. Background music was playing which gave the place a city pub feel rather than a rural east. Staffordshire Village. Although it didn't seem like a place for families at time of our visit, there were a few kids at bar and customers told me bar was great for families during day. We also visited Youth Nall on Istasian Street which is the restaurant section. Three horseshoes was so crowded with people as we struggled to get to the bar and was the second busiest bar. The staff were friendly but so busy that I struggled to have a proper conversation with them. Despite being polite and opening the door for guests as they walked around, the bar area is like being in a completely different space from the restaurant. With traditional wooden beams, exposed brick walls, orange tiled floor and red cushioned wooden chairs. Most of bookies here have been there for a drink but have eaten in the past they said food was very good. Some of the dishes three horseshoes make are steak, fish and chips, and chicken kebab. All in all, Barton was a great night. Reasonable prices and highly recommend for a good night out. The staff at each brew house are courteous and welcoming and the people drinking inside were just as friendly. Popular garden center to open large soft playground potholes finally repaired on Worst Road in England in Burton meet one of Burton and Swadlingcote's oldest residents mom devastated after. Thieves stole money for tragic baby's headstone.